folks Johnson in here okay back over to the location where we got the steam engine in Bass, North Carolina we'll see how bad it's grown up but there's a couple measurements I want to get a couple things I need to look at and if we can get down there to it we'll see I'm sure it's gonna be grown up really bad so you want to get there well I was uh, expecting a whole lot worse than this it's nice and dry down here now uh, of course since they got all the water leaks fixed I've got a feeling that uh, my blueprints and the height of this block is completely different and I've got the blueprints with me and remembered this block being a lot higher than what it looked like in the blueprint so this will give us a chance to check a few things that I missed Okay, so here's our step down we're working on. And it looks like, okay, it looks like they grouted the entire thing and brought the whole thing above the deck. So maybe that's what we need to do, is just grout the entire top and then set it down. I think I went five foot six. Let me get a measuring tape. I went five foot six wide with my foundation. I don't know if this one's the same width or not. It called in the book for two and a half feet deep or two feet deep I'm sorry here and of course it's not and it wasn't it could have been before the uh, stuff started washing in there uh, you know it's been so long since the building was here and I was in it you know 20 something years ago so all right so what we're gonna do is get the measuring tape and I'm gonna go ahead and check a few things make sure this is five foot six wide and then it should be the center of this to the center of that should be five foot six wide also sort of a standard and then uh, there's my post from my oiler on the end and I can see they grouted it looks like they have put grout everywhere to the level and and set everything in so and I guess this whole piece is grouted in and like I said everything is above Everything is above the base. So we may just do it like I'm doing it and then, you know, put however much an inch maybe of grout and then put it down. So that's looking like how they done it. All right, let me get a measuring tape. Okay, here's a view of the pillars from the back. Them two, and that would be like looking at them from this end. The, you know the big one and the small one so this one's seven two and it's eight five so that would be a foot three inches and three quarter that might be all right then. a foot and three inches that'd be 15 and three quarter I got my piece of pipe set up here so. 15 and we could be off a little bit and according to the grout they might be off yeah that's very close so I think that's about right uh, they did make that pillar of what looks to be eight foot and two foot wide. And this should be five foot six. And it is. And this should be 17 and three eighths. And it is. So they must have went by the blueprints. I've got a good feeling they did. Okay, so we know what to do here. We'll just grout the entire piece in. I'm going to do a few other measurements here and probably check the length of this to see if they went by specs. I went a little short, about six inches short, and actually about a foot short. I can tell you already that they probably went shorter than I went. So. But we'll get a full length on it. I'll draw it out and see. So anyway, uh, 
I've got, like I said, I got most of the measurements, but I want to make sure we got them all for sure. Looks like we had a cottonwood limb fall from that big cottonwood tree. Okay, folks, so we learned what we needed to learn for sure. Uh, it looks like this was built on specs, uh, lengths, everything. Of course, they were going to be running, you know, they're running a factory with it. So, of course, I've, I wouldn't doubt that anyway. So, uh, this is basically what we're doing exact size wise we're just not doing it as tall and I know we're not going far, as far down in the ground as they went and the reason I'm not so worried about that is we're not planning on powering anything even if we did it wouldn't be a factory so learned a lot about how they done this just by this trip because uh, I didn't pay that much attention when it come to the grout and stuff before so we know how it's uh, set up for sure now and uh, thank goodness it just didn't grow a lot down here. I'm surprised. Uh, kind of weird. I figured this thing would be just overgrown with vines and and just completely overtaken. So uh, I don't know. It's uh, probably didn't want me to have much trouble getting to it. It's waiting on me over here. Still like the wood grain. As you can see, they look like they use six inch boards like I'm using to do it. And, uh, you know, that's from a long time ago. That wood's long gone and rotted. Probably burnt. Probably the first thing they burnt in the boiler, right? So, uh, they definitely got a lot of here, but I think the reason they've got so much here, so much height here, is because they built this pier what looks to be uh, just a you know three well about three eighths or maybe a little uh, a little more too low and that was the reason there's so much grout there and but it makes sense we've uh, at least we're getting it figured out I mean that's uh that's a big part of it we're out of here maybe for the last time maybe not you never know okay folks so here's what we got okay first things first I'm going to pound steel stakes in around this and out of uh, probably three foot angle or something so don't worry about it busting out it's not going to bust out because I'm not going to let it bust out okay and I can't let it move anyway because of the way that I'm doing this I'm going to show you what my plans are here now I may end up I don't know from the looks of that form when I was over there today if you go back and look where the bolts are you can see a, a piece of crossed I think they've done it sort of like I'm doing it here Except my plan was, is not to put these on until I get it set. And what I was going to do was take some spray paint and paint this. That way I'm sure I'll get it lined back up right. And maybe notch it here, just to have a notch there. Something that's not, you know, painted on in case we get concrete on. And then uh, the whole plan was to do the surface and then force this down in it. Now, this is not what it's going to be bolt-wise. You see the one-inch bolts are sticking down. The plan is to weld on the bottom of them bolts and probably end up uh, putting them together, you know, maybe, you know, a piece of angle. We'll decide. I don't know what it would be like form with them forms there. That kind of bothers me because I'm afraid I wouldn't get up under them good and they might bow down just a little bit so like i said the plan is to stake this thing good so it don't move we'll go ahead and uh i can even run an upright uh well i could screw a piece of steel in if i needed to you know something to make sure that this thing's not going to spread and then uh after the concrete is on there and leveled we're going to set these down on here's the one for here i got the bolts at the right height uh, like I said, we, I'm still going to weld on the bottom of them. I've got to figure out what I'm going to weld, how I'm going to do it. So I'm just playing here, trying to figure it out. And I'm sure that people will say this ain't the way to go and ain't the way to do it, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, you know, this this engine is never going to be powering a factory. It's not actually not going to be powering anything. So uh, just going to be sitting in static display and possibly run slow. So... If I was going to belt one up, I would belt something different than this engine up anyway. So, 
uh, this will work just fine. I got a good mind it will. So uh, that's the plan. I have not mounted this one down yet. I haven't got the measurements exactly right on it. So once I get it right, and uh, I think everything's looking good. And we're gonna try to pour this. According to everybody, it should be okay to pour this. And uh, you know, shouldn't have any problems with it uh, raising up over here, spilling over, unless it's really wet. I mean, I think it'll be okay though. So, uh, and I do understand that there's a lot of force out on this. So I'm definitely gonna have to make sure that we've got it staked really good. And uh, I'll probably even put a piece between the boards and that tree right there to help. You know, that tree's not gonna move, so that'll help support it some. Uh, it's not gonna hurt a thing. I set the tree on fire the other day by accident, so. All right, so that's the plan. And then of course, like I said, we're gonna grout in the, the main plate here and my wife's been working on cleaning the old grout out of the holes and all that stuff. Now we've got one inch bolts going to hold this down. And like I said, we're going to weld whatever to the bottom of them. Angle, whatever we got to weld. I can go across with this one, weld it, and then make sure that it's exactly straight and exactly the right height and all that good stuff. And then uh, the holes in everything is two inch. So once we set this down on it, we'll grout around it. I've already checked on the grout, the machinery grout and there's plenty in stock local so i can get plenty of that easy so everything will be grouted and done just like the one over there we'll grout on top of all these to get them level where we want them and and set in and i don't think we're going to have much trouble everything seems to be working out good and uh a lot of good suggestions on how to do that plate and i even thought about like i said i was going to set it on here first and pour under it uh or and i even thought about setting it down afterwards you know the good thing about a crane uh, well, a non-hydraulic crane is, is it don't leak down. So if you, if I was to set it there and, and load it down to a certain height, it's going to stay right there, uh, you know, until you decide to load it down. It's not going to creep down like a hydraulic crane. So, uh, matter of fact, I've had that engine hanging on it for quite a while. So I need to load it down. But uh, that's the plan. We're uh, we're going to continue to work on this thing and try to get it how we want it and get it to work right. And, and all that good stuff. Uh, they definitely went by the blueprints over there. Uh, they must, they had to have the same set this, this was because the base, everything was the same, same width and height. And I want to thank Rich again uh, for sending me all these blueprints of this engine. Without them, you know, it'd have been a whole lot harder, especially when it comes time to get this governor finished up. I've done, you know, quite a bit of work on it also. Okay, folks, so this will definitely give uh, give some people something to talk crap about, right? Uh, the way that I'm going about this. Uh, it's just the way I'm going to do it, the way it is. So uh, when I'm all done, it'll work. So I will probably put out another video tomorrow and you get an idea of how I tie this stuff together. I'm probably going to tie these boards together too on the top and tie them two bolts together, uh, you know, welding probably a piece of angle or something and bring it on down farther so it sits in the concrete a good ways and these here will get tied together and same way come out farther and maybe even just add a you know a piece or two going the opposite way and then uh, I think that'll hold up fine like I said we're not we're just running this thing slow we're, we're just wanting to keep from having cracks and stuff later and if you look at the concrete down there, you know, somebody had actually mentioned that all concrete cracks. But if you look at that concrete down there in that swamp, there's no cracks in that concrete. So uh, maybe all new stuff cracks. I don't know. So uh, I've got to get one more board in here uh, going across because this don't get forward. This is the exhaust. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.